السلام علیکم رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ گریشیس اینڈ مرسیفل ریسپیکٹیڈ برادر اینڈ سسٹر ٹوڈے از مائی ٹاپک دا اسٹوری آف موسا علیہ السلام دا ماسز ڈیئر برادر موسا علیہ السلام از نون ایز ماسز ان جوڈیو کریشنس تھیولوجی کنسیڈر اے پروفیٹ and messenger in Islam. Musa alayhi salam was a great prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah loved Musa alayhi salam dearly and has mentioned him more than any other's prophet in the Quran. Allah even spoke to Musa alayhi salam directly, which is a huge honor. That's why Musa alayhi salam is also known as Kalimullah. which means to whom Allah has spoken. Dear brothers, the Quran is full with the stories from the previous prophets, nations, and peoples before us. It is through using a story does Allah in his book convey life lessons for us so that we may know right from wrong, to know where the path of righteousness leads and to take heed of the path of falsehood. Musa's story is the most frequently mentioned story in the Holy Quran. As Quran says in chapter 19 verse 51 to 53 and mentioned in the book, O Prophet, the story of Moses, he was truly a chosen man and was a messenger and a prophet and we called him from side of the monitor and drew him near speaking with him directly and we appointed for him out of our grace his brother Aaron as a prophet respected brothers Musa alayhi salam is also very important in Islam's having been given the revelations of Torah. Musa salam was born into the tribe of Bani Israel, also known as the children of Israel. The Banu, Bani Israels are said to have been favored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, treated them badly. He was cruel king. and Banu Israel suffer under his rule. Around the time of Musa's birth, Islamic literature states that the pharaohs had a dream that a little boy would be born into Banu, Banu, Banu Israel, and that boy would one day kill pharaoh. Pharaoh became frightened and ordered his soldier to kill any baby boys born to the Banu Israel. Dear brother, after Musa salam, was born his, born, his mother was terrified that Pharaoh's soldier would find and kill her baby. But Allah showed Musa's mother dream in which he guided her to put him into the river Nil. Musa's mother put him into a wooden basket and put the basket into the river. She believed Allah would look after him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran chapter 28 verse 7, and we inspired to the mother of Moses, suckle him. But when you fear for him, cast him into the river, and do not fear and do not grieve. Indeed, we will return him to you and will make him one of the messenger. Dear brother, against her natural maternal instincts, she obeyed his command with absolute trust and reliance on Allah. The basket washed up from the river Nile right near Pharaoh's palace. The guard at the palace found the baby and took him to Pharaoh's wife. Asiya. Asiya was a kind woman, and as soon as she saw the baby, she loved him. She asked Pharaoh not to kill 
the baby and instead let her adopt him. Pharaoh agreed. Asiya sent her maids out to find a wet nurse who could breast feed baby Musa. Through the will of Allah, Musa rejected all the wet nurse who came. Finally, when Musa's mother began to feed him, he accepted her milk. Through Allah's mercy, Musa's mother, who had placed her trust in him and reunited with her, with her child as his wet nurse, Musa would be taken to his mother's home every day so that she could feed him. Dear brothers, the Quran chronicles the life of Musa in great detail and emphasize from his birth until his final days. His incredible story in the totality represents the eternal struggle and conflict between truth and falsehoods between oppressor and the oppressed. And like every conflict, there is always an end. And that end is always in the favor of the party of truth. Okay, my friends, see you again with some new topic. Allah Hafiz.